this is Sandy Joe from RhinestoneTemplates.com and I would like to tell you how to do some sizing if you do have a rhinestone program software or Corel or some different um, versions of different softwares that actually um, have some rhinestone macros or something in there to do some resi resizing as well rather than just sizing up with the, the size templates that I provide on my website. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enlarge this up here right here I'm just going to enlarge the word love and I'm working in WinPC right now and how I'm going to do this I'm just going to go ahead and I've got this right now it is it is grouped and um, I'm just going to make sure if it wasn't I'm just going to make sure I'm going to go up and and put yep it is grouped and how I would um, make this smaller is at one one point at a time and right now I think let's ungroup it and see I think I've got actually I think I've got like 18 SS stones or something here so let's just go ahead and start off with one and just go one thing at a time group it come down and hit OK and um, or apply and what it did was it took this stone down to a 17.3 you know so it took it down to a much smaller stone which is actually a 19 SS stone so in order to do this again um, what I would do is I would come over and I would group and what it's going to do it's going to keep my word love the same size it's just going to change the the um, size of the stones inside. So I go up and I group it, and let's go ahead and go and you do it one size at a time. Let's go to 18 and go ahead and click that, and let's see what we've got now. And now we've got a 16.9 stone. So what I'm doing is just working it down little by little to retain its size that it has. And let's just go ahead and jump two sizes and see what happens with that. And that it didn't work. So whoops, I didn't group it though. Let's go ahead and group it. Okay, and now let's go ahead and do the jumping of the two sizes down to a 16, and there it did work. So and it's staying the same size that I started with, but it's making more of a space in between because it's shrinking the, the dots down. So right now I'm I'm working with a, a close to a stone size that I would cut for a 4 millimeter. Let's go ahead and, and just work it some more and see where we have to go. And I'm going to group it, and I'm going to take it down by 2. I'm going to take it to a 14, which is a real good stone size, which would be like a 3.5 millimeter to cut for a, a 3 millimeter. And go ahead and take it down. And that worked out well, too. But now my spaces are a lot a lot different in here. It just took it down um, by the size wise and it just left everything the way that it was. But if you needed, if you had a de design and you wanted to shrink it on down but not shrink the actual um, the actual image down, you know, that's how you would do it. I just enlarged it again. I just backed it up a little bit. And if you actually wanted to take and shrink the whole thing down, you know, the and the stone sizes, then just work with your, your corner tools, shrink it down to keep your spacing the same in the middle, and then grab your stone size chart um, that is the free download that I have over on my um, on my rhinestonetemplates.com website and just come over um, if you if you don't want to work with it like that to see it that's a great size right there um, to actually work with a three and five millimeter or you can get a stone size enlarge it up and then just go ahead and take it and place it on it to see how it lines up and that's pretty darn close you could make love just a little bit bigger and that would be great but that's another way of sizing with the the RT fonts that are typable fonts true type fonts you can put them in any Windows font file or file folder that you have so they'll work in a lot of different programs that you can work with but do the testers off my website just to make sure that your um, your um, software programs are compatible and but it, you, they usually work with any true type font that you have. Again, this is